SBR Videos is sponsored by Sports Cash System. Click on the link below for more information. Hi, welcome to World Sports Weekly. I'm your host, Natalie Rydstrom. England have spent the summer beating up on the Australians, but they're on the receiving end of a thrashing on Sunday in the first one-day international. Can they now mount a comeback in Wednesday's game? Well, Richard O'Hagan, our in-house sports expert, is here to tell us more from a betting perspective and what to expect on Wednesday's showdown. Richard, welcome to the show. Hi, Natalie. It's good to be back. Now, the tides have turned and Australia are now the favourites to win, priced at 1.66, with England priced at 2.2, odds courtesy of Bet365. But at that price, Richard, if you think Australia can win, is it worth taking? I think it certainly is, because at this stage, when they've only played one of, well, it's a four-game series now because the first game was washed out, I think you're going to get the best possible odds on Australia at this point, because if they go on and win on Wednesday, then you really are not going to be looking at making much money on them at all. The only thing I would say is that at the moment, the weather is not looking great, both for Wednesday and then for the next game on Saturday as well. And you might want to actually start looking at maybe looking to back a drawn series as well, because if England get one game, the other two might not even be finished. So definitely best odds you're going to get on Australia at the moment, but look out for the weather forecast. But Richard, priced at 1.66, you know, you've either got to bet big on this. Like, is it really worth placing a bet on Australia to win? Well, if you want to make your fortune on this series, then you've got to back England because they're the ones who are behind. Australia have their noses in front. So, yes, it is harder to make a good profit on them. But, but what you've got to factor in is this is a very inexperienced England side. And it's quite likely to get more inexperienced as the series goes on and as they try and blood even more new players. So I think Australia at the moment are just your safest bet for, for winning this series, I'm afraid. And yes, you're not going to make a huge amount of money on it, but it's the safe way to go. OK. And would you go for, what would you go for as far as the series' correct score? Uh, can the inexperienced England side even win a game here? It's going to be very hard for them. They've left themselves with very few options. They've got people who are underperforming, like Michael Carberry and Jonathan Trott, who they were relying upon to make them runs. But then they've had this massive issue with only really playing three proper bowlers, trying to make up the numbers from the batsmen. That's not really worked for them either. But the, the guys they've got that they can bring in as bowlers haven't played a single international game between them. So very hard. I think probably serious correct score. Again, keep an eye on the weather because I don't think we're going to get all the three remaining games finished. So I would say possibly 2-0 to Australia. Maybe even 3-0 to Australia looks like the way to go here. OK. And are there any other tips that you've got that you'd offer us uh, for this game and for the series going forward? My, the tip that I always like, the bet I always like to make on one-day internationals is to look at what the, any side score is when they get to the 30-over mark. The rule of thumb is if they get to that 30-over mark and they've got five or six wickets still in hand, they will look to double that score, and that's where you should be looking to place your money, particularly on the spread markets, is double whatever the score is at 30 overs. It's a really good bet to make because most of the time that one actually pays off. OK, now moving over to uh, Wednesday's showdown, uh, we've, we've discussed it a little bit here. You're going for sort of a series correct score, 2 or 3 nil. Is there any other sort of bets that you're going to make for this, for this game? I might start looking at one of the big hitters to be the top scorer on the Australian side. So I think Aaron Finch or possibly even Shane Watson could really put up a big score at Birmingham. It's a sort of ground that tends to favour batsmen who can hit the ball very hard, and those two guys certainly can do. I think this is where they really come into their own in this series, is on pitches like the Edgbaston one. So either of those two, in fact, you can even go in the market as it currently stands for both of them, and just wave goodbye to one stake, still make a handsome profit on the one that comes out top. Right. OK, Richard, thanks for joining us. You're welcome, Natalie.